Hello everyone, this is Veronica with Bee's Crafty Corner. Um, today we're going to make a quiet book page and the theme is Halloween. I know it's almost over, but I still wanted to get this done for my son. Um, I'm going to do a calendar quiet book for him and it's very easy, simple. Um, I'm going to try to do no sewing because I hate to sew and even though I know how, I just hate it. So. Um, I use my silhouette to cut out some stencils. Um, however, you can do this um, through Google search. Um, just print out whatever you'd like and then fussy cut it out and then cut it out with the felt. And the felt that I used is from Hobby Lobby and um, the base, this orange base, is the thicker of the felts. Um, this is a 9 by 12 and it's from Hobby Lobby. It's um, probably about maybe a two millimeter in thickness. And then um, I went ahead and bought some one millimeter felt also. So we're gonna use black, orange, purple, and green. You could use other colors if you'd like. Um, so let's get started. You're going to want to use the hot glue gun that has a um, pointed tip and I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's called Sure Bounder and it's the detail hot glue gun. This is the best glue gun there is. The other one just makes a, it, it just pours out a glob of, of glue and you don't want to use that one. Um, unless you, that's all you have. If that's all you have, um, just be very careful and you get um, your seams nice and straight. And so I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut out these templates. So all I'm going to do is just cut them out all the way and I'll be right back with that. So I already cut everything out and this is what I have. I want to um, cut at least one of these O's, the O, so you know, you guys know how I did it. So I'm going to do that. And so this is basically my layout. So what I find that's easiest to use is paper clips. You could use clothespins, um, anything that'll hold the fabric and the stencil <laughs> together. So I'm using these scissors. You want to use a really sharp scissor. So I got these at Michael's in the sewing section. Um, so as long as you have a really sharp scissor, it'll work. So I did all of these cutouts exactly like this. And then just move it over and continue to cut. take it out and then just clean it up you don't want to pull on this felt because if you pull it'll fray if you hear my son he's it's daytime so I'm trying to do this during the day because I don't have time at night. I have to work at night. So the most difficult part of this is the inside of the words and frame. But if you have die cuts, this will work on die cuts also. So 
So it looks like that, and you just can you can clean it up after you're done. So I already have the O already done. So there it is. He came out a little crooked. And if you have the stencil in a position where it doesn't move, that would be best. Um, I would have did this right here. Put a paper clip on each side. And then cut the inside. But because I didn't, he came out, the, um, the opening in the inside came out a little bit off. It didn't, it didn't, uh, come off that, I'm sorry, it didn't, um, do it on this one, so it isn't as bad. So there it is, I'm just cleaning it up, I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. Trying to get it symmetrical as much as I could. And there it is. So we're going to glue the word on first. Now let's do the T. Let's do the three. Let's do the one. So there it is, that's October 31st. Now let's do the skeleton. So I'm going to use googly eyes for him. This was the template, and I couldn't cut out these circles for the eyes because it's it was too much, too it's just a little tiny space, and it couldn't be done. It would look awful if I had. Okay, now his mouth. His mouth is in three sections, so we're going to do that. And you don't have to put glue all over the piece because it'll stick regardless. And plus it gives it a little added dimension if it's if it's not totally glued on. Okay. 
Okay, with the small pieces, you're gonna get glue seeping on the sides, but that's okay, you could fix it. And you're gonna get little spider webs from the glue, uh, glue strings. So there it is, and just cut the fraying part off. Isn't he cute? Googly eyed. So now the pumpkin. Here's the pumpkin. And the pumpkin actually looked like this one. Um, my silhouette was acting up with me, so it didn't cut the sides properly. So I just went ahead and made them a little happier. This one looks a little meaner, evil. So <laughs> I just did it with the um, triangles. So let's go ahead and put that on. And you'll hear my son, like I said, it's daytime and um, this would just take way too long at night. pumpkin and you could just clean it up afterwards let's take the black out and there's the pumpkin so the bat is going to stay as is and so is the spider this is what the spider looked like so when I cut it out the spider was the hardest because of the legs so and here's the witch hat. So I wanted to make a pocket down here. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of the felt. So it's going to be about, about four inches. Now this is going to be hard to cut. So we're going to need some sort of guide and the best guide to use is either your mat from your cutting machine or if you don't have that you can use this let me turn this over to be green okay There we are. Now we're going to cut four inches. Four inches right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my X-Acto knife first and then scissors if needed. So scissors next. I'm going to get this straight. Okay, let's move everything out of the way. I moved my mat out of the way and this is what I have. Um, if you're doing this at home, I would do five inches. I wanted my pocket to be a little higher so these could lay on top of it like that. 
Um, I'm going to add a border to the top, make it look a little neater. So let's do that. I'm going to add my border first, and then I'm going to glue the pocket to the orange part. So let me do that. You want to leave a little bit hanging over the edge. And I'm going to put um, some scratch sheet of paper under this so my, my work area doesn't get glued on. And just cut some off. You're going to want to leave a little bit hanging over because we're going to fold it in and glue it. So let's do the other side. That's what that looks like. Now we're gonna glue it to the orange felt. I think it's coming out pretty nice. I like it a lot. So let's see where I'm going. If you hear my son, don't mind him. So this is coming out pretty nice. I like it. Turn it that way so you could see it. Isn't that neat? I love it. Pumpkin goes there. Witch hat goes there. And you could just arrange anything. You could arrange them anywhere you want. They come right off. You have a pocket so you could just insert everything in there keep everything nice and tidy and then whenever your kid wants to play with it they just bring it all out I like it I like it so much oh my son's gonna have so much fun with this so that's that and we want to do holes so I have these old um, eyelets that I got at a garage set actually an estate sale so all these are our eyelets, and you can buy something similar now. Just get these, um, get a small, a small eyelet kit. And if you don't have um, the eyelet punch, um, this kit right here comes with a uh, some sort of metal piece that you could use with your hammer. And so you can do it that way. And so. I got this at the estate sale also, and I just picked it up. It was only, I think, 50 cents for the whole thing. 
And okay, so I'm gonna use this to mark my holes because I want them symmetrical. And so just get, I'm just gonna get my Tombow um, pin here. I forgot what these are called. I'm gonna mark a hole where I'm gonna, okay, this one is not gonna be shown. Let's see if I could get something else for that. Something white, maybe. Hopefully my my gel pen will work. It was out of ink last time I checked. Let's see here. Oh, it worked. Cool. So that's where that is. Take that out. And if you can see dots right there I don't want to use my index finger because my polish isn't my polish is chippy and I swear I just painted him yesterday okay so what I'm gonna use is the exacto knife to kind of make a hole you can use scissors also Then I'm going to go in with these scissors right here and just reinforce that. And then do the same with the other holes. I love how this came out. I can't wait to do a fall one. I'm going to do a fall one and uh, also a Thanksgiving. So I'm going to do the holidays and the times of the seasons, I was gonna say times of months, <laughs> the seasons. Okay, so I put this eyelet on already and that's what the back looks like. So I'm gonna do the same for this one right here. I just stick my scissors in to make a little hole after I put my X-Acto knife in, put my eyelet in there, make sure it's coming out on the other side. And that's what that looks like right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and punch it with the eyelet puncher. And that's what that looks like in the front, nice and neat. Now I'm gonna do the same with the bottom hole. Grab my eyelet, insert it in, make sure it's on the other side. So this side is thicker, so you kind of got to push down the felt, squeeze it really tight. Get your eyelet punch. If you don't have one, remember the kit for Michaels. All you need is a hammer if you buy this kit right here from Michaels. So that's what that looks like, and it's all done, you guys. Look. Wow. Look at the other side. That was my son. I can take this off now. Look, Mom. Look. And as you see, my son says, wow, so he loves it. There it is. Mom, can you see the eyeball? It. I love it too. Can't wait to make the other seasons and holidays also. Put that like this. Okay, I'm going to zoom up a little bit. I really want you guys to see this whole thing. Okay, zoomed out. Isn't that cute? 
I love it. It came out so cute for just using hot glue. No sewing machine. Has a pocket. Pocket can put stuff in hey, right here. Keep everything together. Take it all out. Needs a little glue right here, and then we will be done. Mom, look! Wow, it's like eyes. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you if you make one of these, please tag me on Instagram. My um, at is uh, V's Crafty Corner, and that's it'll be linked in the description below. And thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.